Anthony Alanga backs misfiring 23-year-old Manchester United star. Anthony Alanga has backed Anthony to eventually succeed at Manchester United because of his great skills and beautiful demeanor. The Brazilian's presence at Old Trafford curtailed the Nottingham Forest wingers' playing opportunities, and he was transferred out of the team the following season. After a dull debut season, Anthony sank even lower this season, contributing just two goals, both of which came in an FA Cup victory over League 2 Newport County. The Brazilian has faced issues at Old Trafford, on and off the pitch. Since his expensive move from Ajax, he hasn't been able to find his best form and show consistent performances. That hasn't changed Ilanga's opinion of his former teammate, though, as he still thinks the player will prosper for the Red Devils in the future. Antony is a great player and a beautiful person. The Swedish forward told SoccerNews.nl We had a lot of contact when I was at United, and we still talk sometimes now. I am confident that he will score a lot of goals there. I could already see that during the training sessions. I believe in God, and he told me to go to Nottingham, and Antony is still at United. But he will really be successful there. Amidst speculation at the time that the manager had driven him out of the team, Ilanga also discussed his choice to quit United and reaffirmed that he had no animosity towards Ten Hag. Was Ten Hag the reason I left United? No, I wouldn't say that. He added. I just wanted to play, that was especially important to me. I'm young and I don't want to sit on the bench all season, you know? When you're young you want to play, you want to make mistakes, you want to take risks. But he wasn't the reason for my leaving. There I mainly focused on myself, not on others. Anthony needs to perform consistently to turn around his United career. The Brazilian star was linked with a move away from Old Trafford in January, with the Saudi Pro League being mentioned as his next destination. The club might cash in on him if he is unable to show his best form in the coming months, with a lot of changes expected at the club in the summer under Newport owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Eric Ten had cautiously optimistic that Luke Shaw will be fit for Manchester United's clash against Luton Town. Eric Ten Hag is hopeful that Luke Shaw will be fit for Manchester United's Premier League clash against Luton Town on Sunday. The defender was removed at halftime during last Sunday's 2-1 win against Aston Villa at Villa Park. Ten Hag said that decision was a precaution, given Shaw's history with injuries. United travel to Luton on Sunday looking to build on recent form that has seen them win four of their last six matches. And, while Ten Hag says Shaw is still a doubt, he hopes he will prove his fitness in time. Yes, so he is doubtful for the weekend but we are positive he can make it, Ten Hag told reporters. So, he fell out, of the Villa game, it was a precaution and I think it was the right decision, especially when you, afterwards, win the game. But we are working to Sunday. United are currently without Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Tyrell Malaysia in fullback positions. Malaysia hasn't featured all season, while Wan-Bissaka has missed the last month. Wan-Bissaka will take some weeks because he picked up another injury in training last week. Mason, Mount, and Tyrell will take some more weeks. Eric Ten Hag stresses importance of sporting director appointment amid Dan Ashworth rumors. Eric Ten Hag has welcomed Manchester United's rumored interest in appointing a first-ever sporting director and believes the move would be hugely beneficial. The club's new minority owners, Ineos, are working to overhaul the behind-the-scenes structure at Old Trafford and have set their sights on Newcastle's Dan Ashworth to lead the football side of affairs, particularly recruitment. Ashworth, who has previously worked at Brighton and the FA, is believed to be keen to make the move to United and the club now need to negotiate a compensation package with Newcastle. Ten Hag has worked under similar figures and structures throughout his career, with the absence of a sporting director at Old Trafford something of an anomaly in modern football, and he has welcomed any potential appointment if it benefits United. I am working, I am happy now, in this construction and when things change they will tell me but in a club as Manchester United you can't do everything alone, it is impossible, you need very good people around you, said the Dutchman on Thursday. I am happy but a club like Manchester United also have to look for better, never be satisfied, good is not good enough, 
always looking for better and always try to every day to do better than the day before. I think it is very important you are on one page about football philosophy, about football tactics, about the profiles of the players you need in the team so it is very important to have very good communication so you get the right players. It is one of the most important factors to develop a good team, that you have the right players but also the right characters. That means you have to do the right work and be aligned and it's a long process to get the right players in. Ten Hag has worked in jobs where he has played an integral role in recruitment as well as others where he was solely focused on coaching, such as at Ajax under Mark Overmars, and only had minimal input on signings. He continued, I have worked in several situations where sometimes I was alone in charge, sometimes I had cooperation, so I have dealt with several situations. I think it is so specific, especially on the top, and also so intense with the number of games you need people around who are on the same page, working on the same targets to achieve the high ambitions. Probed on whether he would have any input on the appointment of United's new sporting director, he added, I don't know anything about changes. I talk with the new sporting organization but it is not up to me. I am working and my focus point at this moment is on this team. We plan in this construction what we have in the club and for the future. We have a look and now the window closed in January we are working on the plans for the summer.